guys, we are here at the hottest place in the Philippines to gig around city. And before we travel to downstream, guys, we have to fill in our uh, stomachs first. And Billy Jack's Batil Patum is quite appropriate to suffice our hunger. Tugigaro City is known for the rich, variegated flavors of pancit batil patong all over Cagayan. It is also known for the crunchy chicharabao. Located at the city is the second largest bridge in the Philippines called Buntun Bridge that has been functional since June 1, 1969. Beneath the bridge spans the largest river basin of the country, the Vos and mighty Cagayan River starting from the Luzon Street and ends at the Babuyan Channel. It is the source of water for rice, corn, tobacco, and other vegetations. In the nearby town lies Igig, which is dubbed as the pottery center of Cagayan known for its terracotta heritage. Among the most popular clay crafts are bricks, flowering, and cooking pots. Igig is also the home of the 18th century San Antonio de Galicia Church built out of red bricks located alongside of the Cagayan River. Its historical structure and massive supports makes it distinct from the numerous Spanish colonial churches in the country. The infamous Calvary Hills also offers a scenic view of the Cagayan River where pilgrims come to visit the life-size statues of the Stations of the Cross during Holy Week. Aside from the expansive farms of Alcala is a notable sweet and delicious product made out of Carabao's milk, the Alcala Milk Candy, which is now widely distributed in the market. Entering Nasiping Gatarang Cagayan comes the refreshing lush green colors of the trees that margins both the Cagayan River and the National Highway. Its flora and fauna is indeed preserved due to the reforestation project of Gataran. Well, more trees, more fun! Another essential bridge that runs across the mighty waterway of Cagayan River is the Magapit Suspension Bridge located at Lalo, Cagayan. The castle in the sky with stronghold pillars stands on the riverside which offers a majestic eye-catching view to the tourists. It also gives a far sight of the Magapit Bridge. Lalo is also known for its Kabibi Festival, which the shell is only found in the Cagayan River. Tinupig from Lalo and Assam is also sold along the way. Farther north is the town of Kamalanyugan, which houses along the riverside the old church ruins of San Jacinto de Polonia that serves as a cultural heritage of the town. Kamalanyugan is also the home of the oldest bell in the Philippines and Southeast Asia, known as the Bell of Antiquity. Not too distant from the church is the Horno, a Spanish term referring to huge kiln, a type of oven used in hardening clays into bricks. And lastly, the town perch at the edge of heaven, Apari. It is where the Cagayan River meets the Sea of Babuyan Channel. The Delta Sea at the Paris Pier gives a mesmerizing view of the mixture of the huge sea and the river making fishing as one of the folk's livelihoods. Apari is known for its rich waters and dudong, or the president's fish is endemic to Cagayan River. A bounty capture of Ipon is also notable and Gakka is a must try shell to eat. Dried fish is a marketable delicacy of the town which is most consistent of the small shrimps called aramang. Hello guys, we are here at Navagan Apari, Cagayan to experience this floating boat and which will become a floating restaurant one day and a tourist destination here at Apari, Cagayan. So it will run through the extension of Cagayan River at Navagan and Linao. So guys, let's experience it! Funded by the LGU Apari, the floating restaurant will make us appreciate more the beauty of Cagayan River. Because truly, the richness of mighty Cagayan River has given us enchanting views and unending opportunities and livelihood. So we have to conserve and protect it for us to say, I love Cagayan River!